अगर आप इस वीडियो को देख रहे हैं इसका यह मतलब है कि मुझे गिरफ्तार कर लिया गया This was Umar Khalid's pre-recorded message before he was detained by Indian authorities. A prominent rights activist and a former student leader, Khalid has once again been charged with sedition under the Anti-Terror and Lawful Activities Prevention Act and conspiracy for murder. A critic of India's ruling Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janata Party, Khalid first made headlines in 2016 when he was arrested on charges of sedition for allegedly raising anti-India slogans. In 2018, he survived an assassination attempt after reportedly being attacked by an unidentified gunman in the country's capital. Khalid is now accused of being a conspirator in the deadly riots that took place in the country's capital in February of this year. During the anti-CAA protests, thousands were displaced and more than 50 people were killed, most of them Muslims. Authorities allege that in mid-February, Khalid made incendiary speeches in two different cities against the Modi government's CAA and RC, a controversial new citizenship law that critics say is anti-Muslim. A report filed against him claims he instigated people to protest on the streets and block roads during US President Donald Trump's visit to India. It says this was done to spread propaganda at an international level about how minorities in India are being tortured. In March 2020, part of Khalid's speech was shared on social media by BJP's IT cell head Amit Malviya. The edited clip went viral and got more than 100,000 views. हम वादा करते हैं 24 तारीख को जब डोनाल्ड ट्रम्प हिंदुस्तान आएंगे तो हम ये बताएंगे कि हिंदुस्तान के प्रधानमंत्री और हिंदुस्तान की सरकार हिंदुस्तान को बांटने का काम कर रही है महात्मा गांधी के उसूलों की धज्जिया उड़ा रही है और ये बताएंगे कि हिंदुस्तान की आवाम हिंदुस्तान को हुक्मरानों के खिलाफ लड़ रही है अगर हिंदुस्तान के हुक्मरान देश को बांटना चाहते हैं तो हिंदुस्तान की आवाम देश को जोड़ने के लिए तैयार है हम तमाम लोग सड़कों पर निकल कर आएंगे आप लोग निकल कर आएंगे Taking heed of Malviya's video, several media organizations began flashing the story, and what followed was a motivated campaign against Khalid. The dangerous Tokre gang leader Omar Khalid has been arrested. The masterminds are facing the music. The conspirators have been identified and exposed. But questions are being raised as to whether a case against Khalid actually stands. Even in itself, this selective clip can hardly be seen to be a call to violence, leave alone terrorism. Another part of that 17 minute long speech in which he was seen advocating for peace and invoking Gandhi was ignored. Have a listen. Hum hinsa ka jawab hinsa se nahi denge. Hum nafrat ka jawab nafrat se nahi denge. Agar wo nafrat se phailenge to hum uska jawab pyar se denge. Agar wo danda chalayenge to hum tiranga utha ke lehrayenge. Agar wo goli chalayenge to hum samvidhan ko har mere apne haath ko buland karenge. Agar wo jail mein daalenge to sare jahan se acha hindustan hamara gaate gaate hum hansi haste haste jail chale jayenge lekin is desh ko aapko barbaad karne nahi denge. Referring to this speech and his subsequent arrest, the activist in his pre-recorded message has claimed that those who speak against the government are being wrongly framed and that the police was forcing people to sign declarations. Delhi dangon ke jo Delhi police ki karwai hai usme wo dangaiyon ko nahi pakad rahe jo unhone khuleam danga kiya danga bhadkaya police ki maujoodgi mein bhadkaya TV camera ke samne bhadkaya hum sab ne dekha un pe FIR se dur ki baat unko ek baar Delhi police poochtaach ke liye bhi nahi bula rahi वही दूसरी तरफ जो सरकार के आलोचक हैं, जो सरकार की नीतियों का और खास तौर से सीए कानून का विरोध कर रहे थे एनआरसी का विरोध कर रहे थे उनको झूठे मुकदमों में फंसाया जा रहा है सर हु आर दीज पीपल दैट खालिद सेज इंसाइटेड एंड कॉज द लार्ज स्केल कम्युनल वायलेंस फिंगर्स आर बीइंग पॉइंटेड टुवर्ड्स द हेट स्पीच बाय सेवरल बीजेपी लीडर्स नोन फॉर देयर एंटी मुस्लिम रेटोरिक इसके गद्दारों को Locals allege that clashes erupted soon after speeches like this one were made, but the accusations were downplayed by authorities. It's not just Khalid. Dozens of other anti-CAA protesters or critics of the government, including political leaders and academics, have also been named or rounded up by the police as part of their investigation. This is not an investigation. This is a witch hunt. This is a brazen attempt to try and suppress voices of dissent like Omar Khalid. As of today, there is no evidence, no evidence at all that links Omar Khalid and many many others who've been picked up since the Delhi violence in February. 
Several rights groups say these arrests are politically motivated and that sedition and counter-terrorism laws are being used to stifle dissent. They also say that many activists, mostly Muslims, have been unfairly targeted, an allegation that the police denies. But reports suggest that from March 2020 onwards, the police have repeatedly and arbitrarily targeted young Muslim men, summoning them to the police station and interrogating them about their role in the attacks, often using the most coercive methods. Khalid's arrest has drawn criticism from across the world. Over 200 academicians, filmmakers and authors, including linguist Noam Chomsky and filmmaker Mira Nair, have issued a joint statement calling on authorities to release him and open itself to dissent. Their statement further reads, Currently 19 of the 21 people falsely accused under terror laws are Muslim. If we allow their identity to become their crime, India shall stand shamed in the global community of secular nations. The right to question, challenge and hold the government accountable is enshrined in India's constitution. According to one of the country's former judges, Justice Deepak Gupta, the right to dissent is the biggest and most important right granted by the constitution. There can be no democracy without dissent. It tells us something that's very, very simple. That the Indian state is absolutely afraid of any kind of dissent, any kind of protest. It doesn't matter who you are. They are going to come after you if you offer any kind of critique, if you protest peacefully, if you challenge the government. So Omar is not the last person. They're going to be more and more arrests in the coming days. With arrests like these, is dissent losing its space in Indian democracy?